most recent update of Fusion 360, there are some great enhancements to drive this tool to be the future of making things. Starting off in this simple sketch, we can now see that the sketch entities are blue when they are underdefined and black when they are fully defined. Just make sure to turn this option on in the preferences. This feature will help out a lot when trying to define those complex sketches to your key dimensions. Also, you will see there is a pin on the sketch in the browser when the sketch is fully defined. Now, I will just finish up this bracket with a few features before my colleague adds it into the assembly. This next improvement is a game changer. Fusion 360 now introduces the idea of a distributed design. My colleague Leonardo is in France working on the assembly while I'm in sunny California. He is able to view the files that I have added to the project and insert them into his assembly with a simple right click. Now he can add a couple of joints to implement my design into his assembly and quickly see how my design interacts with his assembly. It appears Leonardo is using the activity feed to post his comment on my design. Now I know he would like me to make the bracket 10 millimeters taller. So I will edit the sketch and change the length by simply adding 10 millimeters to the dimension. Now, saving will produce another version just in case we ever want to roll back to a previous version. In real time, Leonardo gets a notification warning him that a component is out of date. He can choose to get the latest version of this out of date component or continue designing. Now that he updates, he will see the new version of the saddle and his joints and assembly will be intact. Now that we have implemented the design change into the assembly, we must make the change to the drawing. Luckily, in the new release of Fusion 360, the drawing updates automatically with the changes made to the part in a similar fashion to updating the assembly. In addition, this new release adds detailed views, inspection and reference dimensions, dimension tolerances, chain and baseline dimensions, and much more high value features to improve the drawing experience. Finally, we are done designing our bracket and want to produce a prototype of our design. Right inside Fusion 360, we can access Print Studio powered by the Spark platform. I will start off by telling the software to use my Type-A printer. Print Studio makes it easy to orient my model, build my supports, slice the model, and generate toolpaths. This tool will make prototyping happen even faster. After we approved our concept with our prototype, we can now use the integration of Brighthub right inside Fusion 360. This is a service that allows you to request a quote for manufacturing the part you just designed. Brighthub will find a supplier who will send you a quote for your design. Last but not least, I need to replace the wheels of this two-ton jack, but rather than redesigning from scratch, I can use the Parts for CAD integration inside Fusion 360. Parts for CAD gives you access to millions of design to spec 3D models from hundreds of certified manufacturers. This is going to save me tons of time of redesign when I can quickly search for my part and with one click insert it into my assembly. Now get out there and start using this awesome new functionality in the newest release of Fusion 360.